welcome back to Toy Tale Roleplay. Today we are playing in a private server because the Chinese New Year's or the Lunar New Year just came out. Um, the update for it just came out today. And I actually was expecting it because she said it would come out on the 5th of February, but it's out now. So they implemented the new title screen um, already and it looks really cool. And we're, we're just not going to waste any time here because um, I have a chance to record this so I'm going to use this chance while I can. But we have a, um, some new characters. There's some characters that I can't play as because you know, um, oh, humanoid demon. Huh? Oh, okay. So I need the blood egg and the copper egg. So I might, yeah, if I go to copper egg, we got here are all the copper characters. I'm gonna be doing a separate video when I get them because people already have it because GMD did some sort of quiz thing in a server, but I wasn't here when that happened. So I didn't get to do it. So redeem 2019 Scubis code. What's that? That's the scuba skin, but I don't have the code for it. I'm gonna ask Gregory if he knows it. Okay, I think that was a misunderstanding. Apparently the eggs or the code for the scuba skin isn't out yet. So the eggs that people have right now aren't even out yet. It's just, I missed the chance to get them. And yeah, um, that's kind of um, disappointing. I would like to, you know, play as some of these characters because they look really cool. But yeah, um, I can't right now. So we'll just have to wait. Um, oh, they added something new to the candy egg. Wait, what? I have the candy egg. Oh, I have to have unit, ruined unit. What is this stuff? I don't know what that all that is for. So this is a skin for the teddy. I need the ruined unit to actually use that. So we're just gonna play as what we can right now. I'm gonna do the Jack in the Box. It's like a toy in the toy section. I don't know if you need anything to get this because um, it didn't tell me. So you probably don't, it's probably free. So yeah, let's just spawn in. All right, they added the New Year's map in. And you can open the box. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, here. And it actually has this animation where, like, a passive animation. That thing moves while you're not moving. That's really cool. And you, like, jump and the, the box just opens up like that. That's really cool. So, um, open box and... Oh, it plays music. Oh, God, I'm gonna get jump scared. These things always, like, jump scared. Oh, yeah, these kids, there's, like, there's, like, like, people used to think they were really scary when they just come out and spring at you. But yeah, this is what the Jack in the Box character looks like. Yeah, and the box design is cool too. Like how, you know, it closes when you jump and stuff. Like it, I think it like opens and closes like when you move and stuff like that. That's really cool. Also, I'm pretty sure the Chinese symbol means power. GMD did comment on the last video and said what it means, but I haven't checked it. Um, in a, you know, I haven't checked it in a little bit, so I'm pretty sure she said it meant, meant power or something like that. But we're gonna move on to the next character that, um, is it, that's new for us to look at. Yeah, um, if you go to the Watcher, I just figured this out, you get, it says Demon in Humanoid, so I don't know what that's all about. We're gonna see what else is new. Alright, so I'm not gonna be looking at the Chinese New Year's skins unless they added something new, I'll check. But we're gonna look at the candy teddy here for the candy egg. So spawn in and here he is. It's, it's like the normal teddy bear, but he kind of looks different. Like the model looks different. I don't know. Maybe it's because he looks like he's jelly or something, but the model looks different. And, oh, you can change color. Ooh, you can be uh, a blue teddy bear, a yellow one and a red one, a black or white one. Um, I, the white one kind of looks weird. Like it doesn't mix well with the, you know, transparency of the, you know, the gummy. So it kind of looks weird. Um, I'm going to go blue because that's my favorite color. Um, but yeah, that kind of makes it look weird too, so I guess the um, default red and stuff looks pretty good, but I kind of like this. We got pink too, yeah, so this one I didn't look at. Alright, so I'm just gonna stick with blue for right now. Yeah, this is a really cool character. If you look, you can see, like, the stuff, like, reflections bouncing off of it and stuff. But whenever the copper egg and the blood egg comes out, I will be- Oh. Oh, she actually joined my server? Uh. Whoa. Hey. Um, this isn't even her private server. How, like, I, this is just, like, one of my other friends' private servers, Talzuk. And he, and she just joined. I swear this isn't scripted. I was just about to end the video. <laughs> what? I was literally just, um, talking, and I didn't expect that. So I don't know what she's gonna do in here. I, this isn't her private server, but I guess it's, since it's her game, she can join anyone. Alright, I'm just gonna type that, but, uh, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> that's kind of weird how that happened, like. That was really, you know, oh wait, uh, wrong section, where is it? I came to ask you if you want the 
copper blood egg. Sure. She said, I came to ask you if you'd want the copper slash blood egg. Since the maps are from, from disabled right now. She's actually going to give me the egg. How is this? This is so coincidental. I'm pretty sure I literally just said, are the, um, I mean, I'll do a video on the copper egg when they come out. But she's literally here going to give them to me. Okay, I'm actually excited. All right, so I forgot exactly what I was doing. I was going to look at the Lunar New Year stuff. All right, so this is all the same. We already looked at all these guys and gals. And she actually gave me the egg. Look at that. Thank you. Very appreciated. And I will be showing off the characters. Oh, wait, I can't. I have to, like, reset or something, I guess. That was really nice. I, I didn't actually expect that at all. It's, that was just way too coincidental. I didn't expect any of that. All right, so... <laughs> well, that happened, and I'm really appreciative for that. So, we're gonna be able to look at these characters. Can we actually touch these buttons now? All right, I was just thinking. I don't know what this is. The humanoid demon thing. I don't know what that's for, but we now have access. The receiver is a demon of the dark house. He hates the watcher, as it always gets to the victims first. And we have the sweet one. It only wants some treats. I, I'm pretty sure this might be the candy egg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a candy egg. It said it was. All right, so we're going to play as this guy. Whoa, okay. This guy has a huge claw. All right, so this guy looks really cool. I'm just going to close this so we can see more. Whoa. Okay. Look at this. Okay, so it, it kind of fits the dark house. Like, the dark house, um, for some reason, some of the characters in dark house, like, I remember the dark house tattoo, if that was a thing. I'm pretty sure it was, like, they have, like, this corroded, like, wood as a texture on their, like, arms and stuff, and, like, their body. So that seems like a prominent theme with the Dark House, and there's a lot of blood and just flesh all over this guy. And the rest of his body is, like, white, or is that just weird because I'm in weird lighting or something? But he also has, like, bones coming out of his, like, hand, like, there. You can see bones coming out, and that just looks really creepy. Wait, what? The, the, the claw changed color. Are textures, like, still loading in or something? I mean, we're getting to see these characters early because, you know, like, only certain people got this. Oh, there's a chrome red. I guess I can't get that because I already own it. Yeah, this, that, that's summon probably because she joined. I'm pretty sure this is what he looks like, though. This guy's really awesome. And his, like, idle animation where he twitches around and stuff like that, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of it's kind of freaky. Like, that's that's the theme here because it's Dark House. It's supposed to be scary. And I have no idea what his head is. It's kind of like some, like, plate or something. Like, it's, it looks like a plate. It's like it's a flat surface and there's, like, horns or something coming out of it. And there's, like, a blood on the back of the guy here. So that's all really awesome. And since some, we now have access to all the copper characters and the blood egg characters, we're going to have a lot to go over. So this might be a while. So, oh, Dark House Clown. We're not going to play as him because he's getting removed. And I guess we're only going to play as Ruined Unit because we already seen Dark House TV. And, you know, we've already seen, I'm going to see the new stuff here. So, wait, I didn't play as a Sweet Receiver. So, I'm going to play as a Sweet Receiver. And it seems like he'll be able to change to human, robot, or demon. Or if that's something else. I don't know what that's for. The Sweet Receiver. Alright, this is just like a candy version of the Receiver. And this is for the candy egg. And it kind of he kind of looks like the candy egg. Like, if I remember the candy egg, it was like mint. And it had like some... Like frosting or something coming out of it with those like little tubes. What do you, what do you call those? They look like bamboo sticks or something. Kind of like bamboo. I don't know what you'd call them. Just little sticks coming out of the top of the icing. But yeah, um, we need to we need to get a good um, look at this guy. All right, so he his the arm that was like really big and like had the blood on it and stuff. It now has candies, candy canes, and like fr is that frosting like right there? Frosting right there. And he has like some, what do you call those? I don't know what they're called. They're like really sweet. They're like round and you like, I don't know. They're just really sweet. And one and the one side of his tail is um, like a candy color, like a pink, like maybe like probably like something like, you know, some like shiny kind of candy. Maybe like you guys know what the candy rocks are? Kind of reminds me of that. Like those candy rocks, like candy crystals or whatever they're called. I don't even know if they make those anymore. They used to be really good. So we still have the entirety of all of the um, copper characters. So I really wanted to see these. Like ever since I made a video on the image, I really wanted to play as them. And um, here's the copper watcher. Now this guy looks really cool. I mean, I remember calling him. He said like he looked like Big Daddy from Bioshock or something. Like he looks like a Bioshock character. And I'm pretty sure that was an intention. His eyes are glowing. 
That's awesome. You can change the color. Oh. You can change the color of the glowing stuff. Imagine if they do that with, like, the grinder and the other characters, too. Like, you can cr change the color of the grinder's glow in his face like that and stuff. That would add so much more possibilities to, like, things you could do, like, role plays you could do with it. So that's really cool. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's the default. Here's the red. Oh, that looks really menacing. White. So it's really bright. Blue. Really nice color. Black. and you c It's like it turns them off because you can't see that. So... We got green. I, th I think I like green the most. Green looks the coolest on this guy. So yeah, um, he's like, I think he would, I thought he would be like, you know, like brownish, like a brownish color, or it might just because of the lighting or something, because he just looks really like dark, like you can't see any like colors on him except black and stuff. But yeah, this guy looks really awesome and he has like some really cool passive animations like that. A really nice skin for the Watcher that I might actually use a lot. Again, this is awesome. Um, so let's see, copper egg. All right, We're, we did this guy. We're gonna do steam track. Ooh, doom train. A roar for the older fans. The doom train from Zbox requires Zbox 2.0 badge. Yeah, people people kept told, t telling me about this, but I don't think it's in, like possible to get it or something. Or maybe you have to play like the old Zbox, so I might not be able to obtain that. It runs off steam. Whoa. All right. Oh, well, let's play as this guy. All right. So this is track, but he yeah he has the same animations as track. I'm pretty sure. Uh, hide name. All right, so we got, you know, the animation where he slithers around and like that. But let's see. I mean, he doesn't have a face like track and whoa. What's that? Oh, I thought there was like smoke particles or something coming around, but that was just a shadow moving. So it looks like a more like realistic train other than a toy train. So it's like the front of the train. Like, it, like you know, some trains have those like triangles at the front, like spikes and stuff like that. There's like the passenger seats in the background, like you can see the textures on there, that's really cool. It looks, looks like a realistic train other than a toy train, and I really like this one. Copper Mr. GMD, he wears it for style points. Alright, so let's play as this character. Can't actually see myself, why am I invisible? Oh my god, it's a ghost. Alright, so here it is, Copper Mr. GMD. Oh, I was hoping you could change the colors of the eyes on this character like you could with the other one, but you can't sadly. All right, so these are just emotes. I don't know why I opened those. But yeah, this is this one's really cool. I really like this one for my, like, I'm pretty sure this was one of the favorites I said. Like I said, this one is my favorite in the video I made on the screenshot before these actually came out. But it has like a plague doctor, um, witch doctor, whatever you call them, um, mask and hat like that, like you'd see in the, when the black plague and stuff. And that kind of, like now that I'm thinking about it, this whole set of characters kind of reminds me of like, early times like 1800s 1700s 1900s because the doom train looked like a really like um realistic kind of old school looking train like one of the first trains ever made like that um this is like a plague doctor character um the first character which i don't know really how that applies into the um you know um theme that i'm going here with but the colors on them um you know all remind me of like old-fashioned stuff like copper um, brown and stuff, you know, just color, colors you'd associate with, like, old-fashioned pictures, like, um, black and white, brown and orange and stuff like that, but yeah, this is, um, one of my favorites, I really like this one, Copper TV, tunes, tunes, read the news, and now this one looks like a really old-school TV, too, like a TV you see in the 1910s or something, like, or 1930s when they first came out. And here's the normal one. This one looks like a much more modern TV, but this one looks like an older TV that you'd see a long time ago that almost everyone had. And he, he has a... Whoa. There's something on his face. This was the face I was talking about. I'm pretty sure that might be the same as the um, normal Dark House TV, but it might not. It, it could be different. Unfortunately, there's no color option. That would be really cool though if you could like change the color of the light and like the TV screen. But yeah, that's my theme that I came up with the copper egg, and I don't know if it's intentional because these are like all old, like old school, like really early like um, inventions and stuff. Like this is what TVs looked like a long time ago. That's what trains looked like a long time ago. There used to be plague doctors when there was like the Black Death and like it was killing everyone. So pretty neat stuff. Again, thank you so much, GMD. It was really awesome. 
um, how you, you came into the video last minute just to give me these eggs so I could, you know, continue it. Thank you so much. I really wanted to go over these characters and I was disappointed that I missed the event all because I had to go somewhere. But thank you so much for giving them to me. Yeah, what did you guys think about this, um, th these new characters? The candy egg character, the, um, the new Jack in the Box, the teddy bear. We reviewed a lot of characters, like, I'm pretty sure this might have been, like, maybe, um, let's see, uh, probably three or something characters, seven characters? Wait, 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 hold on, am I missing something? I really feel like I forgot a character, now that I'm, you know, looking at this. So, um, before we go, guys, let's just see. Alright, so, no, it's in, it's in Blood Egg, right? Alright, Blood Egg. Ah, uh, I never- I only- I only went over the sweet receiver. I didn't go over this guy. I wanna take a look at this guy real quick. He has voice lines. Oh yeah, they added watcher voice lines. But I'm gonna review those in another video because this video is getting pretty long. Oh. It's like, um, the normal voice lines. Oh, it is the normal voice lines. I was gonna say they were like, you know, put down, like pitched down. That would make sense though, because this guy kind of looks like a broken robot and stuff. Maybe they would be like glitchy or something. That'll probably be changed in the future though. But yeah, it's a GMD bot, but everything is just messed up with it. Um, there's just so many parts wrong. Like, I'm pretty sure that's like part of its face is peeled off right there, and there's just like a light under it. The the arm is like a big claw, like a big crab claw kind of. That kind of makes me, ugh. That kind of make me flinch a little, like, ugh. Like, I, I, let me see if I can keep my cursor in there. Oh, okay. Almost got, it almost got me. <laughs> Why am I doing this? The other arm is um, an actual drill. Like, it's a drill on the side of his, um, le like, left arm? Yeah, left arm. I was just looking at it, like, at a different angle. And the drill actually moves if you stay here. Um, you see it actually moves a little bit. So, that's really cool. But, yeah. That were that was all the Dark House and the Copper Egg characters. We got to see them early, thanks to GMD. So, yeah, thank you so much. But yes, I will be leaving this video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. But yeah, goodbye.